Good morning, everyone. Today we are working on a chore outside and it has something to do with the 18th century. I hope you stay tuned to watch the very unique approach that I have on life in the 18th century, even in the modern world that we're living in. What chore could we be working on outside? I find that working on chores outside oftentimes is so much easier than working on them indoors. And while today it's a simple chore getting ready for winter time, it's so much easier to do it outside. In order to complete this chore, we have to have a fire. At the end of every summer, I trim my wicks and I use about 10 oil lamps at a time. I find that if you trim your wicks on an angle, you have a much brighter light. These are the only three I need to work on today. I trim them once a year. So I talked a lot about clean heat and I do like clean heat but I'm not in the area to be buying it and last year I bought some of this and it is called soft light and this is lamp oil from Amazon and it actually has no odor and it's smokeless I really like this kind and I'm going to be using that this year clean heat can be hard to find sometimes and it's often sold out but this is just as good in my opinion when you have the oil lamps on you don't have that kerosene smell and a lot of people really mind the fumes so i like the soft light now eventually i'm gonna have to change this wick because the wick is getting very short but i can still use it yet i only put new wicks in every two years and that is even with having these oil lamps on i have about five hours a day about two hours in the morning and then three hours in the evening is how long I have them. I usually take paper, that's shipping paper, to clean my oil lamps. You don't ever want to use cloth because if you put the cloth in the dryer, it will ignite. So if you use anything on your oil lamps, make sure that you throw it away or you use it just for that. You don't want to put it in your washing machine. A little bit of lamp oil did spill on the outer rim. That is fine. It actually gives it a really clean look. It actually gets rid of all kinds of stains on it. And once it dries, it will be fine. All right, so let's see if we can wash our globes. The water is really good and warm. It's not 
hot, it's just really good and warm, and that's what I want. And this is how I wash my dishes with my homemade soap. We're gonna go ahead and make some suds. Having your oil lamp globes clean is very, very important. Having them clean is what gives you more light. So I have to wash mine once a week when it's in the dead of winter and I'm using them fully. Not only does lamp oil is good for light, it also helps give you heat. Yes, it actually can help heat your house. You have to be very careful when using them. You don't want to have them around small children or pets. When working outside, it's so nice because you don't have a wet mess in the house and you never want to fill your oil lamp. You never want to fill your oil lamps in the house. When you're working with kerosene and lamp oil, you always want to do it outside. It's very important to fill your oil lamps outside. Flammable liquids should never be stored in the house. So store your lamp oil out in an out garage or somewhere away from the house. So I'm washing away all the dust from the summer. I'm going to finish washing these and then I'll show you what I do next. Take my shipping paper and now I'm going to go ahead and clean all the globes. You know, I think last year I started a revolution. All kinds of people were watching my videos and they really got into having oil lamps. You know, to the modern person, they would wonder, why would you go to all this trouble? Just turn a switch on and you have electric. I found 11 years ago, by having oil lamps, it really helped me out tremendously in so many areas of my life. The beautiful, peaceful look that it gave, it's just something that, unless you try it, you just won't understand. I like the way it looks. It gives a soft light. And it's something that I really much enjoy in every aspect of my life. Turning the clock back and slowing down your life is something that is really important for me and I have learned to live so self-sufficient and I've learned to live with very little and the fact that the littler I have, the less I have, the happier I have become. And while we can flick that switch on, we choose not to. Before I made YouTube videos, we didn't even have electric lights. We all had oil lamps. That's all we had, oil lamps, because our electric wasn't working very well. And we choose to have oil lamps. No, it's not the most frugal thing in the world. And sometimes in life, it's not about saving the dollar. Sometimes in life, it's about saving your own sanity. And for me, turning the clock back, not being on social media as much, and not having the computer on as much has really has given me a new lease on life. So with the paper, it cleans so much better. You can buy oil lamps at Walmart, Amazon. They're quite popular these days. And of course, you can have hand downed ones that are heirlooms like mine. Most of mine are heirlooms and a couple that I got for free. But most of mine come from my ancestry, way, way back, back in the 1800s. I have a rich, in, have a rich history 
and I'm so thankful that they kept everything and I can use it today. that you instill a little bit of the 18th century into your life, you know, you'll find your life much quieter, much more peaceful, and you'll have a new sense, a new sense of what life was like back then, just maybe a little bit. There's nothing wrong when bringing back the old traditions of life, even in the modern era that we live in, even with the internet and even with social media and all of that. Having a little bit of the 18th century into your life will be a welcome treat for your spirit, your soul, your mind, and your body. And for that, I can guarantee. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.